Hey everybody, it's day 22 of 31 and 31, and uh, yeah, it's a weird one, a very weird one. I still don't know what to think. Um, uh, so I just finished watching Canvas, uh, which is from 2021. Um, like I said, I found some weird ones on Tubi. This is one one of the weird ones, and it was mostly because of the poster. When I was just, like looking through everything, trying to figure out, okay, you know... Maybe there's a little more, like, not-so-mainstream, more independent type stuff, and I I definitely found one. Now, what's cool about this is that it's like bringing back rotoscoping. Um, if you ever watched the old, like, Ralph Bakshi movie, you know, there were, like, actors that did a lot of the scenes, and then they animated over on top of the actors and everything like that. And that's kind of what this movie does. It does insert, like, little bits of uh like real footage in there like so you have your actors and you get to see your actors but most of the time it has this gloss it's almost like um a scanner darkly if you've ever seen a scanner darkly before um it has that type of feel in terms of the animation and then it does some weird things like outside of there's some good things and some bad things i think when it's just has like like a, a filter over the top of it if you want to talk about in today's terms it can look really cool and kind of interesting. And then it does this weird like flash animation stuff with some of the effects in the background that I I just it doesn't hit right and it doesn't look that that good. Also, it doesn't land the ending to me. So, what's this movie about? Well, there's this like creature of sorts. At first, I thought, oh god, it's not going to be in English. I'm not, like, trying to say anything like that. Like, hey, I can't watch foreign stuff. But when I was, you know, I wasn't really in the mood for it. And then it's really just because of the, the main antagonist in the movie called The Painter. Like, he speaks in... I I, I want to say it was a Latin language, but I can't... Like, maybe it's meant to be or something? Or I, I'm just dumb? Right now, at the time that I'm watching it, it feels like it's Spanish, but I don't believe so. It's probably Latin is probably what it's in. Um, but I could be completely wrong, and I could have been right, right with my assessment. But, you know, it, it's a it's a being that comes to this planet to observe, observe humanity, and how does it do it? By killing them and painting their blood on the walls. And that's why they call him the painter. And then you have two main characters... You have George, and then I think Relia, I think is her other name. I'm probably butching the shit out of that one. Um, one's a reporter, and one is an agent. And the agent has, like, he's broken down his family because he has to keep the painter a secret. And basically, they have a task force where they're hiding the identity of what the painter is. And then they're basically saying, oh, these murders are caused by somebody else. Right, And a lot of the people that are in those situations, they convince them or they tell them, hey, you have to take the fall for this. You know, we're going to cover for you. Not not cover, but you won't do what you have, but we'll get the confession from you, blah, 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 blah. And then she's trying to break the case because something she was involved in one of these and she really wants to figure out what's going on. The, the problem that I have with it, like the story itself is interesting. If you just focused on the cop guy, George, if you just focused on him or Georgie as the painter calls him, if you just focus on him the entire time, I think it'd be a lot more solid, right? Him figuring things out and everything, because I feel like she doesn't get introduced well enough until the last, like, second half of the second act. Like, you actually get more of her. You get little bits and pieces in the beginning, but it's not enough to, like, satiate you and to really connect with the character. And either you need to bring her in early and they need to have a complete back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth throughout the movie of her trying to like break the case open, him trying to cover it up and this weird cat and mouse game that goes on and, and doing all that stuff. But I just don't feel like it's there. And it's a lot, there's a lot more focused with the, the, the cop or agent or whatever you want to call him, him like trying to deal with his family and trying to get that stuff, 
um, you know, get get it straight and, and make sure that it, it, things don't happen because he wants to protect his family as much as possible from them ever knowing on this stuff. And there's actually a really good scene between him and his daughter where he tells, he asked her about a time where he covered up for her with his, her mom and, and other people. And the reason why, like he still never said anything and that's why he can't do what he's doing right now. And even though it pains him, um, that's a really good scene. I really like it. There's, there's like very like nice, uh, flashes of brilliance within this, but ultimately the, the ending is not satisfying. You know, it, it really feels like it ends on a cliffhanger and I can't tell whether or not it's meant to feel like that or they just did something different because like things happen and then it's literally like, you know, it's just beginning like, and that's it. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying not to like ruin too much and spoil too much. Cause I don't like to spoil in these smaller reviews like this, but that's just a thing that doesn't, it just doesn't sit with me very well. So, overall, interesting style, interesting story. Execution, just a bit short in terms of the story. Uh, so, I, it's definitely a three out of five blood canvases. I think that it's, you know, if you want to watch it, give it a spin. I don't think many people have heard of this movie. I know I had never heard of this movie. And it might be worth uh, a quick watch. So, all right. We'll be back tomorrow. Day 23 is coming up. So we'll see what we're watching then, and you guys take care.